Does the no contact rule work? Answer, 150 fucking percent yes. Yes, it fucking works. I'm going to tell you why. Imagine this, you buy a nice new house, 100K we'll say, and it, it needs some work, and you decide that you're gonna go put in the work to make it a nicer house, make it a better scene to live in, better place. So you buy a nice pool, add additions, add a hardwood floor, add some rugs, some couches, nice new kitchen, just keep adding to it over time. And after it's really done and perfect, and you're just kind of settled in for a little bit, stop really focusing in on building it up, you're just kind of relaxing in it, and one day you just leave the oven on, and it, your house burns the fuck down. It just burns the fuck down. Are you gonna panic? Yes, you're gonna fucking panic. You're not gonna be thinking straight. You're gonna need that house back. You're gonna want it back because you're, you're stuck living in fucking mom and dad's house and when you had your house. And you want that fucking house right back. You need that house. After a certain amount of time, you're gonna go fucking crazy and find a way to get back to your previous living situation. Now, the female mind is very, very similar. Let me tell you why. Her mind is like the fucking house. You guys built up a relationship. You built it up. I don't know how long you guys were dating, but you guys built a connection where you, you were comfortable with each other. You could do things together. You had a bunch of memories together. You guys were ideal. You guys might have been soulmates. You guys fucking rocked the fucking world. And then you got a little bit too comfortable with each other. And then your relationship burns to the ground. Right now, you might be thinking that she doesn't want anything to do with you. And that might be right. If you keep bugging her and shit, yeah. But if you don't say anything to her, her mind's gonna go crazy. Because she has completely lost the house. She's lost the house, which is your relationship. But if you, if you keep showing her interest, and you keep showing that you're not gonna leave her, then yeah, she still has the fucking house. What people don't understand is we value, we tend to value th things that we lose three times more than what they are actually worth. So when you get dumped by a girl, and this has happened to me, this happened to a lot of people, this happened to everyone. Whenever you get dumped by a girl, you're going to go value her three times more. So if she was a seven, she's going to be a 21 in your mind when she's still actually a seven. Your mind just fucking puts in puts in shit to make her think it's a, tw a 21 but she's really a 7 still your house it was worth 100k you build it up to uh, I don't know a million you, you, it burns down to the ground it's 3 million now in your mind but it's still only a million but in your mind it's 3 million so the key here is you need to turn the tables on her you need to make your value go up 3 times as much now Let's just say you're a 10, like you are. you are, you are a 10, but you're being needy and trying to push her, so now you're a 3 in her mind. She wants nothing to fucking do with you. Do you want to fuck 3s? No. She doesn't want to fuck 3s. If you keep aggravating her, yeah, you're a fucking 3. You're a fucking 3, and you are not a fucking 3. If you, if you just stay neutral, stay kind of friend zone with her, say what's up every now and then, but don't show her a lot of attention, you're back to your typical 10. But if you fucking go away forever and she's lost you forever, what do you think you are, bro? You're a fucking 30. You're a fucking 30. And she's gonna need you back. She's gonna fucking need you back. So you can't give her any attention. You can't talk to her at all. You need to make her reach out to you by fucking staying a fuck away from her. Stay away from her. You don't need her shit. You don't need her at all. If you keep giving her fucking attention, you're gonna be a three in her mind. You're gonna be a three, and no one wants to fuck a three. No one's happy about fucking a three. No one's happy about dating a three. They wanna fuck the tens. They wanna fuck the thirties. They wanna fuck the thirties. That's what the ones that they really get wet for. They don't get wet for threes, man. They don't get wet, and you know, you're a 10, but you got, she, you know, you guys were neutral. You wanna be a 30. You gotta fucking make yourself scarce. You, need, you can't fucking, you cannot be involved in her life. And when you're not involved in her life, you'll be the 30.